Hello and welcome to the KJD Show. I am your host, KJD. So tonight I'm going to talk about the release of Garrett Hartley. And I really want to know what everybody's thinking about it. I mean, yeah, I know he went through a bit of a funk this year. Major funk. Um, he was also the one of the first kickers in Super Bowl history to kick 3-for-3 three three from 40 yards or deeper in a Super Bowl game. But the business of all sports is what have you done for me lately? I mean, he missed a lot of field goals, a lot of clutch free throws. I mean, not free, not free throws, field goals, which you could probably say is the equivalence of free throws in basketball, depending on if you're considering distance or not. Um, one other argument you can make is that, you know, he was one of the highest paid kickers in the history of the game. You know, his pay didn't exactly correlate to his performance, so maybe you can say that. Um... Maybe it's because Sean Payton wanted to send a message to the rest of the Saints players, you know, hey, you better step it up or things are going to happen. Um, I think there's some things going on in the locker room that we don't know about about the Saints. Um, it does appear that ever since Seattle blew out the Saints on Monday Night Football that the Saints got exposed, perhaps. Um, yeah, you know... I'm just calling it like I see it. Uh, maybe Sean Payton's trying to wake up the other guys on the team. Um, offense hasn't exactly been the same this year as it has been in years past. Defense has actually surprisingly been playing better than what they've been in the past. Maybe close to how well they were during the Super Bowl year. Um you know, you can't always depend on your defense to do well in every game, no matter how good the defense is at this level. In any sport, you can't live and die on your defense, no matter how good they are. Because at some point, you're going to play, you got you got to put points up on the board. You're not going to shut everybody down every time. And it's just the way sports are, especially with the way the rules are. So they picked up Graham. Supposedly, he was cut seven times in three seasons. Maybe Sean Payton knows something that we don't know about. Uh, I'd like to know what that is. Maybe you guys know something that I don't know either. But the next question is probably going to be where will Garrett Hartley land? Um, I really wouldn't want to be the fly on the wall right now to talk about that. I saw on Facebook a lot of people were giving him hate about it. Some people were happy that he was gone. You know, you had some people that were disappointed. I really don't have an opinion on it. You know, I can understand why it happened because the business of sports is what have you done for me lately. It's part of the reason why Mike Dicka didn't last that long with the Saints when he was coaching, even though he was one of the most successful coaches in history during his time with the Bears. I mean, your resume can only save you for so long. Um... It's just the nature of sports. Even look at Randy Moss, even towards the end of his career, why he was constantly changing teams because the way the league is. What have you done for me lately? Sure, he currently holds the record for receiving touchdowns in a season during his 2007 season with the New England Patriots, but what did he do after that? You see, that's the business of sports. No matter how good you are, if you're not producing... It's always, what have you done for me lately? Not what, not what have you done for me a long time ago. I'm definitely open to hearing other people's comments about this. You go ahead and comment. I'd love to have an open discussion about it. Later.